everyone it's me Francis um, most of you are probably over here from my TikTok um, my TikTok channel name is delicate one and I'll put the link in the description so you can go back and forth easily if you want to um, I promised that I would upload this video tonight um, and this video is going to be telling you the supplies you need to start the envelope saving method for your foster youth um, so this method and these envelopes are with a youth between the ages of 14 and 18 in mind that's still in high school. Um, I think anywhere between four and six envelopes is plenty. I'm going to use four. You can use these little envelopes that you can find on Amazon or you can just use regular envelopes where you would like send a snail mail. Just any type of envelopes. Um, you just need four at least I would suggest. So today I just want you all to get your supplies. So you're going to need four envelopes for the series, um, at least four to six, but definitely four. Um, and then I'm going to tell you exactly how I labeled the envelopes today. And then I'll upload more videos kind of explaining how much I would put, how much I would suggest adding to the envelopes, um, creative ways for your foster youth to earn money. And if you're also willing to let them use their stipend um, to save, then that's that's amazing and we can talk about that as well but today I just want everyone to get on the same page have the supplies and I'm going to go over how and why I labeled my envelopes so let's say I have a foster youth in my care and I have my four envelopes together I'm going to put them in four separate sections and mine are savings so this is just like my yellow envelope is for savings um, I think if you put on a sticky note on the back of the envelope what those savings is for and how they're important it's helpful and can be a motivator so on my back of my savings envelope which is the yellow one I have a little sticky on the outside and it has apartment car adult cell phone Wi-Fi and electronics kind of them thinking about when they are older and they're moving out of the home and they're out of foster care or out of your care they're thinking about the things they're going to want in their adult life that they'll probably be responsible for paying for. So um, savings is a good way to motivate them to put money away for things that they have now that they're going to want as adults too. Okay. Um, the other one I have, it's a green label. Some, some call it blue. That looks like green to me. This one's for college or trade school. So what I have on my sticky note is applications, books, um, and apartment. Um, eventually, they're going to get out of foster care, um, whether that's returning to their biological parents or their prior guardian, or if it's going straight to trade school or college. So it's just really important that we start thinking about um, applications, costs, and different things that they're going to have, different expenses that they're going to have. So that's my college envelope. Um, my third envelope is food. I actually think this is probably one of the most important envelopes um, because kids don't really consider food expenses food expenses all the time. If they're going to school and buying a orange Gatorade every single day, that's an expense. That's $5 a week, $20 a month that they're spending on a drink that you could probably get a six pack for at the store for one fourth the price. So I wrote on the back of my um, white envelope that's food, I have Wendy's after school snacks and vending machine purchases. Um, if you are if you have a foster youth that has friends and they like to do Uber Eats together, whatever wherever they spend food, if they love Chipotle, write Chipotle on there. Just whatever they spend their money on when it comes to food, put on here. If they grab second lunch with their friends after school like I did, that needs to go on here. Um, and then my last envelope is prom and a homecoming envelope. Um, I have a simple white label on it um, and it has prom slash homecoming and on my sticky note to remind them why they're saving it has makeup dress tickets etc so I think that using four envelopes you can use my exact envelopes that I'm using and I'll write in the description exactly what I put on my sticky notes um, I'm really excited for this series I really hope it helps a lot of foster parents um, figure out a creative way to start talking about money um, with their foster youth they really need this oftentimes they don't have anyone talking to them about money they're just trying to get through one day at a time, one school year at a time, one casework at a time, and one placement at a time. So if while they're in your home, you can teach them a little bit about money, 
this method can be started over and over and over again and it's it's simple it's it's pretty much doesn't have any cost to start you just need envelopes um thank you so much for tuning into this video i will make more i promise very shortly um you know sometimes i'll come in there won't be much fanciness or graphics to my videos because you do know that i'm a new mom now i have two kids under two so i'm just doing the best i can to get the information out there it might not look pretty but i promise all this is coming from the bottom of my heart. I hope this helps and I'll see you for the next one.